This x-ray confirms a volar dislocation at the PIP joint of the fifth finger. I do offer patients a digital nerve block if they want it. Prep the skin, the needles inserted from the palmar side to each side of the base of the finger along the course of the digital nerve. The reduction technique makes sense when you review the x-ray. Brace the proximal phalanx, pull axial traction, and pull the finger back into place. Check for full range of motion of the finger, which might be a little limited due to pain and swelling. This includes checking for lateral stability and also checking the flexor digitorum tendons. So that's high risk for a central slip injury, and we need to do an Elson test to assess for that. Have the patient curl their fingers around the edge of a table or a box with their fingers flexed at the PIP, and then they extend their finger while you apply pressure to the middle phalanx. If the central slip is intact, you'll feel tension as the finger is extended. In this case, there is not much tension, which is concerning for a central slip injury. So this patient needs close follow-up with a hand surgeon.